a defense revival the coach was talking about here in this game. Now, third down. Clock running. They've not used that final timeout. Lost a yard. Third down and 18. Third and 18. 82,000 on their feet. Gamecock players along the sideline jumping up and down to keep the fans in it. Cullen Harper will work out of the gun. Harper looking down the middle of the field, and he is caught. It is not enough for a first down. Aaron Kelly on the catch, but well shy, eight or nine yards shy, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Great pass protection right there, but they force Clemson to throw the ball underneath, and Rodney Paul from his linebacker position, a short tackle. They mark it up at the... 46-yard line, a fourth down and four. Fourth down and four. Seven out of 13. Fourth down conversions for Clemson this year. South Carolina in man-to-man -man coverage now across the field. Harper, the slant is going to be enough for the first down. And will bring that football to the 37-yard line. And that's an old experienced guy on a true freshman up there playing bump and run and just too easy, Gary, to give that big body Aaron Kelly that inside release right there. Clock is running. 12-yard gain. They'll mark it at the 34-yard line. Clock's still running here as Hopper gets him out. They want one more play. They gain about 10 more, and they're going to get it over the middle at the 15-yard line. Aaron Kelly again on the catch. And again, it's Aaron Kelly on the true freshman corner. We talked about the injuries at corner, and that's just terrible technique, but he's only a freshman. Now they will stop the clock, spiking it with 17 seconds left to go. Aaron Kelly on this drive, receptions of 26, 12, and 18 yards to set up the possible game-winning field goal for Buckles. And we talked about the injuries of this South Carolina defense, particularly this week at corner. Carlos Thomas out of the game, Captain Mullen out of the game, and they go right at the freshman Addison Williams with Aaron Kelly who bounces back from last week. Just get the ball in the middle of the field right now to Clemson. Call timeout and kick the field goal. Timeout will be taken here by South Carolina. They will use their timeout. Sixteen. They want to put that second back on up on the clock. There is Buckholz. Buckholz today. Two for four. The misses. Wide right on that one. a 54-yard field goal to try to win the football game. But if you're Clemson right now, Gary, 17 seconds left, one timeout, don't get cute. Just take the quarterback and snap it to the quarterback, let him put the ball dead in the middle of the field, call timeout, and kick the ball. Got to give great credit to Colin Harper, the Clemson quarterback. He has really done a great job throughout this game, but particularly here. You can see why he came in 17th in the nation in pass efficiency. He is very good at putting that ball on the money. They want to go one more play here to move it over to the center of the field. He takes a couple of steps to the right. Cullen uh, Harper does, and there he is down. The clock will continue to run. They will use their final timeout to stop this clock with just enough time left for the field goal. There you see it being done on the far side. And it's Tommy Bowden at the official right there. The Colts is on his way out. Now, last week in the big comeback, which was in Death Valley, Matt Ryan and BC came away with a victory. But, but there was a chance at the end because Harper did it again. He laid it right there at the two-yard line, thought he had a touchdown, didn't get it. They had a chance for the field goal. Buckholz fell short. It was a 54-yard attempt.
And Boston College came away with a 20 to 17 win in that ball game last week. But you know the great thing about athletics, you always get another game. And Aaron Kelly, you mentioned Colin Harper, but also Aaron Kelly. What a great couple of catches on that last drive. Now you know the old ball coach is going to freeze this kicker with both timeouts. So it's only a question of how long he lets it go before he calls that timeout at the last second. Up there, he's made field goals of 48 and 28. He's missed 35 and 35. This is a 35 yard attempt. 35 yard attempt. And what could be the game winning field goal? No timeouts called. The kick is up, and it is good. And Clemson will come away with a victory as time expires. A 35 yard field goal by Mark. Buckholz to win this football game. 23. The kicker. You probably may, wouldn't have made any difference. You know about what I think happens? It's used so often now that the kicker may be waiting for it, and you may try and mess him up that way. They have a good point, and a lot of credit to Clemson. A lot of people across this country, including Clemson fans, had to be saying, oh, no, here we go again. And how about Buckholz, the soccer player, steps up and Clemson wins it on the last play of the game. They are now 9-3. and three. They will have a chance for 10 wins on the year. Clemson's not done that since 17 years ago. They give themselves much better positioning for the bowl that they look forward to with the victory here in this game. And for South Carolina, they are going to have to wait and see if the six wins they picked up are enough to get them to a bowl. And South Carolina... Well documented, the injuries on defense, the problems on defense the second half of the season. And in the end, that injury-riddled defense, Gary, just could not stop Clemson. Big game today with the man who is down with our own, Stacy. But Cullen, take us through your mindset on that last drive. Well, you know, we knew we just needed three points, so we just had to give our kicker a position to, to make a kick, and, you know, Aaron Kelly made some great plays, and kicker made a great kick, and I'm just so proud of our guys right now. It's awesome. This is a huge response from that BC loss last Saturday. What's your reflection on your team's response? Oh, you know, I'm just, you know, we're just resilient. We we deal with adversity so well. That's kind of been the trademark of this team is, you know, we've, we've had some ups and we've had some downs, and we haven't let the downs keep us down. We bounced back, and I'm just so proud of them. This is your first year starting for this team in this rivalry setting what does this mean for your program oh it means a lot you know we, we wanted to make sure we finished this year the way we, we knew we should and we, you know we played a great game and south carolina played a great game and i'm just you know we're so excited right now all right thanks a lot colin congratulations gary colin hyper he led the, the drive from their own 22 with four passes that were taken by aaron kelly a 68 yard drive that ended up with a game-winning field goal right there and clemson gets